When you need to display static images in your app, you can use the drawable class and its subclasses to draw shapes and images. A drawable is a general abstraction of something that can be drawn. The various subclasses help with the specific image scenarios and you can extend them to define your own drawable objects that behave in unique way. What does this mean? You can add graphics to your app by referencing an, app, an image file from your project resources. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. Supported files type that we have seen in the previous videos that we have added this colorful wallpaper uh, to our uh, app our, as a background for our layout. So the supported file types are the PNG, which is preferred, GPG acceptable, and GIF discouraged. So we, we always prefer to add the PNG dot for extension files. App icons, logos, and other graphics such as those used in games are well suited for this technique. To use the image resources, you add, you add your file to the resources.drawable. So you can download any app or icon or any um, wallpaper or any uh, image and add it to the drawable folder. So we will add this image, which is for the YouTube icon. I will copy it and I will add it into the drawable folder, paste. And we have two files here, the drawable and drawable version 24. We always add to drawable folder and we name it as youtube.png. To use the image resources, we add it to the drawable folder. Once in your project, you can reference the image resource from your code or your XML layout. But there is very important note that always start the name of image with a small letter and don't start with numbers. Okay, so keep all of the letters, small letters, and if you want to add the numbers, add them after the letters. We will click OK and we go. So we, here we have YouTube.png has been added to the drawable. Now, in order to use it, we can add it, uh, reference it by the image ID by using r.drawable.png. Let's make an example by dragging and dropping this or displaying the YouTube into a, an image view. So I will go to the main activity here, the XML layout. I will create an image view that we have created and we have seen it before, how to make it. And we have talked about that we can make an image view and set the resources from the from the Java file. Okay, so we can make the, the image view, display an image programmatically. So image view equal, new, equal find view by ID, rid dot image view. So how to set the image for this image view? As we have talked about, we use set image resources. And we have seen that in order to add in order to use this image, which is under the drawable folder, we use r dot drawable dot. You see, guys, that this will open for us for the 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 contained elements inside the drawable folder, which is colorful wallpaper. I see a launcher background. I see launcher foreground and YouTube. 
colorful i see i see and youtube so i need youtube png if we run our app it will display for us the image so this is the drawable this is how we contact the drawable and how we get the drawable now we can reference the image by getting resources compact dot get the drawable and we reference the r dot drawable dot our image but this each unique resource in your project can maintain only one state no matter how many different objects you instantiate from it okay so this is what we can do with the drawables now how to create uh, drawables from xml resources if there is a drawable object that you would like to create which is not initially depend on variables defined by your code or user interaction then defining the drawable in xml is a good option even if you expect your drawable to change its property during the user's interaction with your app you should consider defining the object in xml as you can modify properties after the object has been instantiated what does this mean so we are getting confused don't worry after you define your drawable in xml save the file in the resources folder drawable directory of your project and here we can make a drawable contact how to make this happens okay so there is one note that drawable is not only for images you can make your own shapes so i will create a new drawable resource file i will name it as transition Here is, I will make it as transition. And I will start here by making an item Android drawable at Here we can define the collapsed image if we need to add it and we can define new item and we can make it as the expand expand image okay so we can define how the vectors that the transitions and many things this would be postponed for later lectures because we are, when we talk about the animations and the transitions we are going to make it a deep deep dive in, in these animations and the transitions using the drawable folder so don't worry we will post the transition and the the animation uh, section uh, using the drawables for later use uh in the in, in the next videos okay because these are for the advanced or like um, intermediate uh, lectures and intermediate levels okay so this is how we create i'm just showing you how what are the types that you can make in the drawable so you can use the drawable folder for the images like these displaying them in the Im image view or you can make a transition inside a transition uh, like uh, the transition for your animation for your uh, uh, for your views for your widgets and like drawing on the like uh, on the uh, activity okay so let's talk about another example like shape drawable a shape drawable object can be a good option when you want to dynamically draw a two-dimensional graphic you can programmatically draw primitive shapes on the shape drawable object and apply the styles to your app needs. So, because shape drawable has its own draw method, you can create subclass of the view that draws the shapes, shape drawable object during the onDraw event as shown in the following 
uh, in the following codes. Okay, so how to make this? We can create a new class here. New, sorry. New Java class. I will name it as custom drawable view. And this custom drawable view, when we extend it from a view, we need we, we need to implement to add the class and we need to implement its constructor matching. So we need the first one, which is the context. <clears throat> if you if you want to learn about the extending and the inheritance and the constructor and these uh, basic things in Java, please go to the Java section and you will find all of these. Okay, so inside the constructor, we can instantiate uh, the variables like int x equal to 10. We, we start, we are start drawing. Okay, so here we are drawing, we are making a po point x and point y, and we will start drawing from, uh, from these points. So we are defining the width equal 300, like for example, and height equal to 50. And then we can set content description to context dot get resources dot get string, or you can make it like um, drawing. Okay, it's good. Now we are defining here a private shape drawable okay so shape drawable this is what i am talking about i am making an object from the shape drawable and this shape drawable i'm going to start the drawing and start displaying things on the canvas so drawable <coughs> equal to new shape drawable i'm passing new oval shape I need to make an oval shape okay so if the color is not set the shape uses the black as default you can put drawable.getPaint.setColor color to change it but I will not make it if the bounds are not set the shape cannot be drawn so I will start the drawable.set bounds to X int top which is y the right which is x plus width and the right which is y plus height okay so here we will start making the on draw on draw protected and we start the drawing drawable dot draw and we will pass the canvas okay what we are doing here we are just making a class an own class that starts when it's called it will be the, the creating an oval shape and drawing the according to these bounds the x y and the width and the height and accordingly we are going to make a new shape by this extension so if we go to the main activity and in the on create method we are going to put here before the set content view we will create a new custom here custom drawable view is an object from the custom drawable view class that we have created before I will name it as custom drawable view equal to new custom drawable view and pass this this context and we will set the content view this time is not our dot drawable dot activity we are going to start by custom drawable v okay so if we run our app we have successfully created an over an oval shape with black color and with the x and y and its own 
um, its own shape and its own dimension. You can make also the set content with the, with the XML uh, layout. So if we want to use the custom view in the XML instead, instead, then you will add the custom drawable view class must override the view here, not view this, this uh, constructor. We can add the attributes and we uh, use the attribute set, which allowed us to make an XML layout. This will see uh, that it is not very useful and not very commonly used in most of our applications, but I should mention it inside the drawable, uh, in the, inside the drawable uh, lesson. Okay. One last thing that I need to uh, mention is the nine patch drawable. A nine patch drawable graphic is stretchable bitmap image that you can use as the background of, of, of a view. Android automatically resizes the graphic to accommodate the contents of the view. An example use of a nine patch image is the background used by standard Android buttons or buttons um, must stretch to accommodate the strings of various lengths. A nine patch image is a standard PNG image that includes in an extra one pixel border. It must be saved with the nine dot PNG extension in the resource drawable directory of your project. Okay. So, uh, it is, as I told you, it's, it's stretchable and used very important, importantly, um, uh, a handy way uh, to uh, to stretch all the views in different shapes and in different colors and in different sizes and density pixels. One of the tools that offer an extremely handy way is called Draw Nine Patch to create your nine patch images using a graphics editor. It even raises warning if the region you will define is a stretchable area or not. Okay, so uh, in the next video, we are going to talk about the ninth.